have a, a function that allows us to zoom to the uh, to the um, a pre-specified area. So you know you have a dashboard. It's only supposed to be one one page if you're following the Stephen Pugh definition. So you always want it to go look about the same on different monitors, different screens, different computers. So one way to do this, and it's one I use personally, is I define a, a screen area. Here I've called it screen length. You can call it different things. Um, and then to create this button, um, it really is just a little bit of code. So I'm going to go and edit, and I'm going to make sure. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yeah. So all I have to do is um, use that range. I say select that range, and then in the active window, I say dot zoom equals true. And that's actually all you need to have it zoom to that default range. So let me jump back out here. That's all that code does. It selects it behind the scene, and then it zooms to it. And if you really want to get fancy, and I, I think everyone should want to get fancy, one thing you can do is you can put it in the workbook, workbook open event. Um, and the only only drawback to this method is if your Excel uh, spreadsheet crashes, um, and you know that happens from time to time, and you load it back up, and then over here on the side you have that extra thing that says, "Are you sure you still want to use, or do you want to use one of these old files, or this is what you're using?" It's going to fit to um, the area that's left over, so that's really the only problem. But I'd say it's an 80% good enough solution, um, at least 19 sriracha bottles. Oh, at least not in <laughs> But I'll let the I will let the I will let the hot tip master grade me. <laughs> right. All right. Let me think. Hmm. Mm. I have to talk Be to my generous. committee. All right. The committee says five. Five. There's a maximum of five. See. All right. Are you always gonna give me five? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh man! Did not get down one. 